Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the I Don't Even Know podcast. I'm Em, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm here, All American Season 6, Episode 12, the draft episode. Big deal, we've been waiting, I think, for this for a while. I mean, at least I have, like, since we found out we are getting a whole, I mean, not a whole draft episode, but, like, a draft where you're gonna see the draft. I've been, like, waiting for this for a while. It's because, I, like, I've said this, but I like seeing, like, Spencer's journey because, you know, we've seen it from the beginning, and I like seeing, like, him choosing college, and, like, we saw part of his college journey, and then we're seeing him go into the NFL. Of course, we're not gonna most likely see him playing the NFL unless they actually are not doing the new generation thing next season. But like we're leading up to it, to him joining the NFL, and I love to see it, even though it's not looking very promising right now. I don't know what the fuck was going on. I was stressing I was I was so certain he was gonna get picked if it wasn't by St. Louis by some other team and then like it just kept going going and I was just sitting there like there's no way in hell he's not getting drafted like there is some mistake like there's no way just like with him in college the fact that he at I think at, at one point he like got a deal or like there was only one big school or a school that was really offering him a deal or something or not a deal but offering something I think that was the case I might be wrong but that was just so stupid because he's so incredibly talented he should have multiple schools doing this not just that one I don't even remember what it was but it shouldn't have been just that one and then here like we everyone thought St. Louis was gonna pick him even like the people like hosting the draft and then of course he didn't and then they were like okay this team this team this team like he's gonna get drafted everything's gonna be fine and he doesn't it's like it doesn't make sense i get they're trying to do like drama but the fact that he's not didn't get picked in the first round is so weird and like so messed up because like he would in reality he would I don't care what the fuck happened he would like this is not because of like him and like barging lives um or wait no it's not because of that but there's no way in hell it is because he missed out on that interview or whatever thing to go to lives book signing like, if that's the case, I'll be throwing hands. Because I don't care, like, how important that thing is. Liv is more important to him. I'm so proud of him for being like, no. Like, no. I am i don't care what the fuck that is. I'm not going. I'm going to see my girl. I'm going to support her. Because, like, that's what I need to do. And I'll do that over anything. Like, I'm so happy he, like, was like, no. Okay? Yes, that may be kind of sabotage him. But I still... I'm still happy he did it. Like, yeah, I want him to get drafted, and I want him to be a first-round pick, but I'm even more happy that he went to support his girl uh, instead of doing whatever the hell that was. And, like, I still think he's going to get picked. Like, there's no way he's not going to get picked, right? <laughs> that would be, like, the plot, like, the biggest plot twist in this damn show. Surprise, Spencer doesn't go in the NFL, and he, like, something else happens. Like, woo. Like, they're not going to do that. Like, if they do that, that's, like, genuinely one of the dumbest things I've seen on TV if they decide to do that. Because, like, this is what this whole show has been leading up to, to get him here. Like, I get they want to cause drama and want to stress this out, but, like, I'm not built for this. I just need him to get picked. Honestly, at this point, I don't care who he gets picked. Like, who, what team gets him. Like, I don't care. I just want a team. I just want a team to get him. I'm not built for this stress. I was so excited for this episode because of the draft. And I was like, okay, we're going to see him get drafted. One of the first picks. Like, I'm not going to have to think about, like, where he's going to go anymore. And then they pull this. And now I'm going to be stressed and, and, like, on edge because I don't know what's happening until next week. And I wanted them to wrap up the draft in this episode. So next week, my I can be, like, full Jordala mode. Which, to be fair, I already am. And just a warning, I'm going to be insufferable next episode because of Tordela. But it's like, 
majority of those weddings next episode. I wanted it to be all about that. And of course, like, that it will be the main thing. Because the synopsis and the promo, like, we know that's the main thing. But, it's like, I want to know. It's like, I just wanted them to wrap it up this episode. And I'm hoping that they'll wrap it up and, like, tell us who Spencer gets, like, drafted by at the beginning of the next episode. I hope it opens with that because I don't want to wait. Like, I want them to wrap that up so the next episode can be just Jordala. And Jordala wedding, just happy vibes. You know, I just need good positive energy next episode. And it seems like it will get wrapped up because in the promo, Spencer seems happy. And I feel like even if he was stressed out and, like, upset about the draft, like, well, first of all, if he, if he didn't get drafted at all, he would be, like really upset we would be able to tell but I feel like he might still be upset that he wasn't one of the first picks but I think he's good enough to like push that to the side for a bit to enjoy his best friend like brother getting married you know so it's like I feel like they're gonna fix it but maybe they won't and maybe that's an episode 14 shenanigan because we don't know anything about episode 14 or if we do in the synopsis is out no one has told me about it, or apparently nothing's going on with Spolidia Dordela because it's not on my Twitter feed. Like, that's genuinely the only, like, way I see the synopsis, on Twitter at least. There's Occasionally I'll see it on Instagram from somebody else. It's like, maybe they'll wrap it up then, and maybe they'll, they're, like, not putting it out there because they wanted us to see this episode and be, like, it was something to do with the draft. I don't know. I'm just confused. I'm conflicted. I want to know what the fuck is going on and what Eric is not telling us. Because, like, you're supposed to be, not his manager. He's not his manager, but, like, his, I don't even know what Eric is, to be honest. Like, a mentor or whatever, some shit like that. Like, you're supposed to be helping us. Or agent. I think that's what he is. I think he's an agent. His agent. You're supposed to be helping us. You're not doing a very good job. Because, first of all, you bringing like, him and, like, the press into Liv's, um, book signing was insane. Insane. Like, I get, because he couldn't go to that thing, you wanted to get some press around him to help, because it's a big deal, and him going to his girlfriend's book signing about his old coach, about a book, a ch- children's book about his own, co- his old coach, and her father and everything, like, yeah, it's a good image, but that's so messed up because it's her moment and I'm so happy. Spencer was like, fuck you. Like, I know at the end of it, he said that he get he got what he was doing. He understood it. Like, yeah. And even Coop kind of was like to Spencer, it was messed up. He shouldn't have done that. But like, you know, he had to do something. Like, I get it. But there were better ways to go around at it. Like, can my girl have her moment? Like, yes, I know it was not going well, obviously. Like, I could see that. But... It's like, I wanted her to have her moment without Spencer. I want her to become a published author. I mean, she is now. But, like, a famous author without, like, being known as Spencer's girlfriend or future wife. Like, yeah, I'm fine with that as well. But I want them to, her to be both. I want her to be well-known, a well-known author as well. And that didn't help. I mean, maybe, like, because, like, she did that thing with, at Crenshaw that reading for kids like and like that'll help her a bit and like I was thinking when it was going on like yes any promotion or not promotion publicity is decent in some situation some kind of I mean ugh, some publicity is not great but it, I get like, it was kind of good for her image or not for her image but just to get the book out there but then also, I wanted it to, like, grow on its own. You know, I didn't want her to be in Spencer's shadow. And I love how Spencer was like, I'm sorry. And, like, apologized to her. It's like, this is your moment. That should not have happened. It's like, she was understanding, too. Because I think she knows, like, Spencer would never take this away from her. Or not, She, I think she knows. She knows Spencer would never want to take away her spotlight. And he wants her to shine. And, like, be her, like... Be her, not her own person, but, like, you know, like, grow and get all the opportunities she can get. And it's just, like, oh, my gosh. 
Eric's a piece of shit because he's like acting weird at the end and like dipped out during the draft. It's like, what was the reason? Because you need to tell us what the fuck is going on. Like, Coop grabbing his phone, like, thank you, first of all. And also tell him, like, what's going on? You need to tell us. Like, bro, tell us what's happening. Like, I'm so confused. Like, there's something going on. Something got out or there's some sort of mistake. Because how is Spencer James not a first-round pick? Like, he should have been the top ten. And that was the thing. He was supposed to be, like, top five pick or some shit like that. He's not. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, I don't I don't get it. It's, it's like, oh my god. It's like, I did not think this damn draft was going to be so stressful and upsetting. And it, I mean, it's so irritating because of Eric. Like, he was pissing me off this whole episode. Like, I get he's trying to get Spencer's name out there, give him a, give him good publicity, like, help him, like, make, not make a name for himself, because he already did, but, like, really just, like, publicity stuff, and, like, help him with that, so he gets drafted, and is, like, a top pick, like, I get that, but he was being such a pain in the ass, like, even at the beginning, when he was doing his signing thing, like, with the fans, and he, like, went all, over to say hi to, like, like somebody else who got drafted by St. Louis, which isn't great now, but like that guy, he went to go say hi to him because they they, be, they met at the combine and they kind of became friends or not really friends, but you know what I mean. I, I'm trying to think of the word. I just, I don't know why. I can't not think of it right now. He, he, like mutuals, I guess. Like, yeah, they, they know each other. So he went to say hi, like a good person and like a nice, decent human being. And he was like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, you should be focused. Like, no one is in the line. Like, yeah, if some kid was in the line and wanted his football to be signed or like their football to be signed, yeah, sure. He should, he like, he should stay. But no one was in that line. So it's like, huh, like, bro it's fine if he talks to someone else and him giving him a hard time about like him wanting to go to Liv's thing it's like yeah he handled it in his own way like I said fucking stupid but him being like oh like you cannot miss th- this meeting or whatever like it's important blah 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 people need to know your priorities and he's like I have my priorities and you should know it like yes football is my priority but Liv is as well Liv is more important than this like obviously like his dream to go to the NFL, so yeah, it's extremely important, but it's also, like, live is his life, or not his life, his, like, home, he needs to support her as much as she supports him, like, let him do that, if you were in his position, you would probably do the same thing, unless, maybe not, because Spencer is just such a good boyfriend, and you seem like a piece of trash, it's like, what the hell, and when he went to Coop and was like, you know, he has to go to this. And she was like, yeah, but she's, he's not going to miss out on Liv's signing. Like, you know that. You know how much Liv means to him. Like, he would never do that. He wants to be supportive. It's like, shut the fuck up and go. Like, go somewhere else. Or, like, go fix this. It's like, oh my gosh, like, I don't trust, I don't. It's not like I think he's a bad person. He's just kind of an idiot. And I just don't know if he has Spencer's best interest at heart. Or, like, I think he does. I just think he's he wasn't the best person for the agent. Like, I know he was the assistant at one point, And then when Spencer was like, when you can become an agent, I want you. Like, and I get that because he was better than the other people. Well, the other people were just annoying as hell. Like, he was a better fit for him. But I just think he's still bad because I think a better agent would figure out what the hell is going on and tell them. It's like, they want to know what's happening. I do too. It's like, oh my gosh. I was so hyped for the draft. This is literally, it's like, oh my gosh. It's like, I was, first of all, expecting the draft to be a bit longer. I'm kind of happy because I feel like that would drag, like, been dragged out a bit. I thought it was half the episode. Like, I was happy it wasn't, but I wish we got to see it a bit more. But then I feel like that would have been too much. I mean, I don't know. I don't watch drafts. I don't know how long they are. I assume they're, like, a couple hours long, which, yeah, I don't want to see all that. But, like, I wanted to see a bit more. But, you know, it's fine. We got the red carpet. 
which I was living for. You know, at one point, I thought Liv was not showing up, and I panicked. Like, when the stills came out for this episode, we saw Grace, Coop, Dylan, and Spencer, of course, all there. And we were like, oh, they're saving, like, Liv. They're not showing us Liv's outfit because they want a surprise. I was like, it's going to look incredible, which, like, I thought that too. And then... When we saw her at the school about to do the reading, I was like, oh my gosh, is she not even going to show up? Like, yeah, I want her to put, like, not her book, not ahead of, above Spencer, but, like, I want her to do well in her career if that's what she needs to do, like, like to do it, 100%. I want her to be successful. I want her to succeed. But I was panicking. I was like, oh, fuck off. Like, the writers are so stupid and hate me so much to do this. Like, they're really not going to have her be there. And I was thinking that the whole entire time until Girly popped up. Because I was like, oh my gosh, like, no. I was ready to see Liv on the red carpet, like, looking incredible, as she always does. Like, let's be real. real. Samantha, Logan, stunning. One of the prettiest people in the world. I was like, oh my gosh, like, damn it, we're really not going to see her. And, like, because I'm, like, obviously we did, and I'm grateful, because I was panicking that she wasn't going to show up. I wanted to see her on the red carpet, like, red carpet pictures with Spencer, like, that would have been everything, but I'm so happy she got a shout out, like, when he, he, like, when the interviewer was like, oh, like, who do you want to thank, or, like, who got you here, and he's like, my mom, Dylan, my manager, Coop, I mean, I'm not sure how I feel about Coop being a manager, but I mean, sure, go off, like, We'll all talk about that in a bit because I'm still not sure. And like, of course, Billy, and then my home, my girl, Olivia. I'm like, oh my gosh, when he called her his home, I died. I literally, you could have found me deceased in my room. I almost choked on my water because, like, I just, I was stressed out. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, she's not there. Can we at least get a shout out? And I wasn't expecting it like that. Like, where's the proposal? Like, come on now. It's episode 15. We need a proposal. We have three episodes left, which is insane to think about. Like, we need a fucking proposal by the end of it. Unless they're coming back next season. If they are, I would still like a proposal by the end of the season just so we can get engaged with Olivia. But it, if they're not coming back, I need a proposal and I need like a time jump at the end for a wedding. Please. I, I mean, I will become the worst person alive if I get a Jordala wedding, which we, we're, we're already getting. But if I also get a Spolivia wedding this season, or just in general, and I actually get to witness it, you will not be able to handle me. I am going to be a fucking disaster. I just think how I'm going to be, t- like, next week for, like, the wedding, and it's going to be awful. Like, I'm going to be such a mess. Like, for the past two weeks or whenever we found out about, like, the wedding, or not about the wedding, but that the wedding was going to be June 24th, I've been unstable. I've been such a mess. Like, it's not even funny. I'm, like, all over the place because all I can think about is them. It's, like, all over my Twitter, like, feed is them as well. At least, not all the time, but when episodes are airing, it's genuinely just Jordala. And occasionally it's Bolivia, but it's mostly Jordala for some reason. Not for some reason. Like, obviously, they are one of my favorite ships of all time. But same with Bolivia, and they're just not on there as much. And it throws me off, because I'm like, where the hell are they? They are later, but you know. Anyways. Like, when Liv showed up, like, I, like, I died. I did, because first of all, she looked incredible, like, oh my gosh, like, yes, I would kill to see her on the red carpet, but I'm just happy she showed up, because I, it got to the point that I was like, oh yeah, we're fucked, she's so not showing up, like, the, we're done, like, it, I, it, I got to that point, I was like, okay, well, I'm excited for the draft, but, like, she's not showing up, like, what's the point, like, obviously, the point is that Spencer is getting drafted, yeah, but honestly, I'll get, take anything, to like get to see Olivia in a dress like in like not looking gorgeous because she like I said she always does but like full glam like you know like just like everything like I I live for that and like we never see that 
like I mean we've never seen it because they've never had this kind of event they, like, we've seen them at prom in homecoming but other than that we haven't so I was like no I'm ready to go especially like something like this big like a draft like come on support your man just like she showed up I was like oh my gosh because honestly I did not know it was her for a second because I saw someone pop up I'm like who the hell because I was kind of out of it like I was such a mess at that point like <laughs> as I always am like I'm so dead today like I don't know what was going on I was just by the time I started this like the episode I was just so out of it so I didn't realize it was her until like I like we I got a better glimpse and I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh and I like I um had to pause because I spilled my water all over my bed and I had to go grab towels because I kind of screamed a little too loud or like it wasn't even really a scream I, I silently scream and like silently say stuff when I'm watching tv and people are home like if it's just me I say it out loud like in my dorm like that's why I miss my dorm right now I like, will just say stuff like when I'm watching and when I'm alone I say stuff but when people are in the house like I don't want to say stuff because first of all I don't want my mom to hear me swear like she knows I do it but I don't want her to hear it because I want her to get mad at me and I just don't want them to hear how like into it I get even though they know so like I silently say stuff and I silently yell I silently scream but I don't know what happened it just it kind of came out <laughs> Like, my scream, like, I did. It was high-pitched. Like, you couldn't... I don't think they... I Or if they did hear, they probably just thought it was, like, a, or dogs freaking out about something or, like, something outside, I'm hoping, or just something moving. Like, I don't know. But it was, like, I did let it out. It was, like, kind of high-pitched because I just... I was so happy to see her. Like, I mean, I'm like that for any Spolivia scene, to be honest. But specifically for these kind of things because I love seeing them support each other and like they've always have been really supportive but this season they've really been there for each other and they're really stepping up their game I mean they're just so solid this season and I love to see it because like after last season we deserve this and not even just after last season all the other seasons like yeah they were together for season four but they had some angst and it was kind of stressful I mean they had like they didn't have that much angst, but they were kind of arguing for a good chunk of the second half of the season. So it's like, we deserve this. Because we also had to wait three seasons for them to get together. Then had them together for one season. And they did have some issues throughout then. Then they broke up, and we didn't have them. We lost them for a full fucking season. And then now, it's like, we deserve this. We deserve this evolution, like, this growth. Like, yes, Show me adult love. Thank you. Like, mature adult love. Like, that's what we deserve. Oh, and their communication's on point. And, like, the way she was supporting him, like, when he was stressing out about not getting picked. Which, like, yeah, completely understandable. She was like, it's okay. Like, you're gonna get picked by this team. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's like, and then, of course, he didn't. But I appreciate her being there and being like, it's fine. Like, you'll get picked. Because, obviously, he's going to get picked. Like, like I said, if he doesn't, that's the stupidest thing the show has ever done. Because, like, what the hell? This it was his journey. Like, wh- bitch. Like, if he does not get picked, I'm going to die. You, like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm going to be so annoyed next episode if he doesn't get, like, picked. That's why I need him to get picked. So all my focus going to be on Jordela. Like, ugh. It just pisses me off. Like, what... Like, I want to see him get drafted. Like, obviously he has to, but if he doesn't... Like, a part of me feels like he's not... He's not in, like, this... Or not in this draft. He's not going to. But then, like, something will happen to one of, like, the players who got drafted, and then they'll pick him. I don't know. I feel like they might do that, but I really hope they don't, and he just gets picked. Like, yeah, I know. Like, first round is, the like, the most important. Like, that's when you want to get picked. And you want to be one of the first people to get picked. But, you know, shit happens. So, I mean, I just want him to get picked at this point. I really hope they don't do that bullshit. Be like, oh, he didn't get picked. And then gets in the finale or some shit, he gets picked. Like, or, like, something happens and, like, a team wants him. Like, I hope they don't do that shit. Like, please. I just want to see him get drafted. Like, this was such a hyped episode because people were excited to see him get drafted. Because this is what we've been waiting for. And they do this. Like, this was his journey. Oh, my gosh. It's like, 
I didn't think this episode was gonna piss me off that much. Like, we got some great content, which I'm beyond thrilled for. Like, Spolivia, like I said, serving. Like, them in the beginning of the episode, like, the way it opened with them laying on the couch together, like, oh my god. It's like, I've been wanting scenes, like, since they moved in together, and we kind of got some... Not really last episode, but the episode before then, we kind of got, like, them walking out together, but we didn't get to, like, see them living together, and we kind of did. Just them, like, sleeping on the couch together. It's just, like, it's so perfect, and I'm so, like, I just, I love them. They're so cute. It's just, like, I need every episode to open with either Spolivia or J- Jordela, and I will be fine with my life, you know? I just need that, and that will get me hooked immediately. And, like, I'm always hooked. Like, immediately, because of how into the characters I am. Or, at least, Layla and Livia in the ships. But, it's like, open like that, and I'll be sat, ready to go. Every week. Even though I technically already am. <laughs> like, if you you don't see me on a Monday, sat in my room, like, ready to watch. Like, like 7 o'clock, like, on the dot. Um, something is wrong. Like, I'm always sat, ready to go. And, like, I'm, I'm so happy I was because opening up with them was just perfect. It's because, oh my gosh, it's just, seeing them, like, this season brings me so much joy. It does. I don't know why. It's just, I think it just makes me emotional because we've, like, grown with them. And we've seen them from the beginning and just seeing how they've, like, evolved and seeing how, like, they've got back together so much stronger and like they're so good now they're so solid it's just, like I said it's really getting adult and I love it because that's what I love when my teen like ships grow into like adult relationships you know and like we see that evolution and we see them evolve and like become stronger and healthier and just like really mm, you know I don't know if that made sense but you know I don't have the word for it but you know like uh like they get there oh my gosh they're so perfect I just loved like even though it wasn't like they were doing anything crazy they were just like snuggling and like laying together I just loved it it was so cute I'm just talking about like the draft and her book and him giving her a fucking gift like that necklace was gorgeous like oh my god like I love like and she was like it's beautiful and he's like you are like first of all 100% you're correct your girlfriend is stunning like, I wish she was mine. And, like, let's be real. In my mind, I'm dating Olivia. And I'm also dating Layla. And also, and a ton of other characters, to be honest. But, you know, it's like, that's my girlfriend. Like, first of all, back up. Like, I want her to myself. I mean, you're the second choice. But it's like, oh my gosh. They're just so perfect. And she was like, can we, like, lay here for a bit longer? Just because, to, like, to, not, like, slow down time because she knew like this week was gonna be huge for both of them but it's specifically for him it's just like it's just they're so perfect i just i just love them and i loved them this episode like i really like Liv's story this season i've really enjoyed honestly because like i was worried like about it at the beginning of the season just because I didn't know like the way they were gonna go with it because first of all I didn't know like anything about like the storylines this season and the book wasn't brought up yet or at least I don't think it was so I was like okay I wonder where we're gonna go because I don't I didn't want them to just do like the new evolved live the whole season because like yeah she is she has evolved she's grown up she's matured like she's like grown like and she's a better version of herself 100% but I didn't like how they were like kept they kept saying old live and new live like like let's like, let's stop like come on like that's kind of annoying so I was worried but then when they brought up the Billy book I was really enjoying that because that's how they kept Billy's legacy alive and when she didn't when she got dropped because she didn't want to bring up the affair and everything I was like okay like now where is it gonna go because I thought at one point she was going to like like publish it on her own or like find someone new which obviously obviously she didn't and then after that I was like okay so where the hell is this gonna go because it's like we have a couple more episodes left how are they going to do like something else with the story because it's not like they were just not going to give her a story 
uh, like a story for her and have her be like Spencer's girlfriend and just that and kind of like just be supportive which like yeah I would have been down for like not down for that i'm down for her being supportive and being like a good girlfriend and just being there for him but she needs a story you know and i'm just so happy with the way they did this honestly like it's it was good like i'm really enjoying it because i just i love seeing them like carry on billy's legacy like i've said before i just really like the way they're doing it and i think a children's book is even better than a biography because he helped all of them like and he loves helping kids and like he just that's the kind of guy he was and he had so many lessons for all of them and changed their lives and so like this is the perfect way to like carry on his legacy like teaching kids the things he taught th- them you know it's just like that's why i was so happy when K- kia showed up and like got her to talk and read the book to like the little kids first of all because kia my girl, I've missed her. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for her to come back. I think I said this like last episode, or no, I think it was the episode before, or something like that. That I've been waiting for her to show up because that is my girl. I wish she was a series regular or at least a reoccurring character. Like, can she come on more, please? Like, I've really missed her, and I'm so happy she returned. I'm just because I I love her. I just love who she is, but also I want to see more of her in lives friendship because like we we saw it last season a bit and we saw it a bit this episode that like kind of in a way that she was helping her but i just want to see more of it because they're so like cute also i love their friendship in real life as well because it's just it's top tier honestly but just seeing her again made me happy because i knew she was going to be in the season because i saw her behind the scenes or like in some someone's instagram story i don't know who it was but i remember seeing it but I thought it was the last episode that she was in. And maybe she's going to be in the finale as well. I'm also hoping maybe she's she's going to be at the wedding. I honestly don't know if she will be. Because it's like she was never that close to Layla or Jordan. But she was kind of friends with them. So, it's like, come on, let's get her there. Let's get everyone that we like. Let's bring everyone back that we don't hate, please. It's just, it was just such a joy to see her back, honestly. Like, Anytime I get to see, like, they bring back an older, not an older character, but an old character that I actually like, it makes me happy, because it's, like, this is what I like. Like, I love seeing characters that we've grown to love, and I hate that they just disappear. And so I'm so happy she was there to help her, and I just thought that was such a good way to kind of start off, like, Liv's, like, not press, but like, getting her book out there more, because, like, obviously, she's doing it on her own, self-publishing, self-selling, like, it's hard, like, even when you have a team to do it, like, it's, it's rough, like, she has somebody working for her, not really working, helping, but it's free, so it's, like, not really great, it's, like, I think going to Crenshaw and talking to little kids is great, because Billy grew up in Crenshaw, and if he was still around when they came to college, not came to college, oh my gosh, came, what the hell, went to high school, Like, he would most likely be there to help them, you know, and, like, like change their lives and be supportive and, like, just just help them through and, like, just guide them through life, you know? It's just, it was just such a perfect way to do it because Billy had such a legacy at Crenshaw and Beverly as well. And so just talking to these kids and reading it to them was such a good thing to do. And I just, I think that's going to help. Even though it wasn't, like, a big, like publicity thing i think her doing that will maybe help in like in some way and she'll start doing that more and just reading the little kids and like somehow like get it big or something because it's gonna be a series which i'm really happy about i think that's so cute to do it's so like, like how is she gonna do that it's just i hope that person that she reached out to on i think it was linkedin it looked like it or it's some knockoff of LinkedIn about like how she's a author and she wanted like blah. I don't remember what she said because it cut out because my wi-fi hates me and it hasn't been working today and so it kind of cut off so I couldn't see exactly what she said but I know she was like messaging some sort of author or publisher or, like some per- somebody I'm not sure who it was but I hope that person reaches out to her and helps her because I just I want Liv to thrive as an author and I think that's the way they're going like 
for sure she is going to become like a best-selling author like I do think that she's going to become a best-selling children's author like like, there's no way they're doing this and nothing big's gonna happen from this like they're gonna end it with her being like some big shot children's author which i'm 100 percent down for like i want to see my girls successful i want to see spencer live jordan and layla all being like together successful like that's what i want i'm just i'm hoping it goes that way i see it going that way i mean it's just, it takes time you know like when you're a self-publisher it's harder obviously because you're doing it all on your own but it works out for some people and eventually like when you make it it will feel like so deserving and you'll feel like even more proud of yourself because you did it all by yourself like yes it is easier to have like somebody helping you but I just think it's so motivating and like well sh- like when it gets bigger like show like all these like, little kids that you can do this like she did this all by herself she's like I guess we'll see where it goes. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I just hope it goes well for her. I just, I, I just see, I see her becoming a big author and like it going, like selling millions of copies or maybe not millions, but like selling a ton of copies by the end of the season. Like, I think in the, if we get like a time jump at the end of it, if they're going to do like do the new generation thing, it's going to show like Spencer, like Super Bowl wins, live with a family and like live being a best-selling author you know like that's where it's gonna go it better i mean like they have to do that like come on let live be successful please girl he's gone through enough the way it is like i need like i said i need everyone to be successful like come on and, like just, come on like let's let's have everyone okay like we're not doing really well right now like spencer is successful but he did not get drafted live is having trouble with her book hopefully we'll get to be successful eventually asher literally quit his job which like i'm ha- here's the thing i'm happy he did it because they were treating him awful and i was not aware of the fact that montez literally created a job for him i thought he was like some sort of assistant coach and when he said like what he was i was like is that even a fucking thing like and i like when he said like he created a job for me it's like okay then it makes a bit more sense why the coaches are not acknowledging you like yes it is rude that he threw away the like the binder that asher made him when he was literally just trying to help like yeah that was obviously very shitty but you're like they probably don't take you seriously because like nanta just created a random ass like job for you like yes i know it's not great but like I don't know I'm just I always thought that he was going to become head coach I just I did and when he was thinking about how he or saying he wanted to like like do something else or like they weren't respecting him I thought because Montez is alive in in the show I thought maybe he was gonna like go and be the assistant coach on the NFL team that Montez is coaching on I was like okay that would be that would be interesting I think that's cool but like obviously it would take a bit because he needs to graduate but then at the end when he called like like the wife like miss montez coach miss coach montez or whatever i i don't know what to call her because they're both but mrs montez when he called her and was like you know or at first we didn't even know he called her we were just i thought he called montez but when he, he was like, I know, like, I need to graduate, I need to do this, but then I would, like, love to help you win another championship. And when he said that, I was like, oh, okay, he's going to the NFL. But I think him going to work at Beverly with Ms. Montez is perfect. I think that's just such a good ending for him. And just, like, a full circle moment because he, that's where he started off and that's where he started, like, to find his love for coaching. And, like... I think that was just a perfect ending for him, especially since, like, he's not going to be in next season, no matter what. I think him, like, ending up there is perfect. I, I'm really happy about that. Like, I'm happy Jamie, like, didn't, like, is, like, so supportive of him because I was worried. Because, like, I get Coastal, it's more money, obviously, and they have a child, they have a house, like, they need to take care of, like, it's a lot. And, like, of course... Jamie's job isn't paying as much as well because she like 
decided to go after her team because Asher said so. And I had a feeling that she was going to be the same way with Asher because, like, how supportive she is but I'm so happy she actually said it like no you like you need to quit like I want you to quit like I want you to do what you want to do like I don't want you to be miserable like after all the advice she gave him about like showing him like show the coach that you deserve to be there do all this and he did that and he didn't appreciate it he threw the fucking binder away so like fuck I don't know just like I think it's this is a perfect like like I said full circle moment for Asher I think it's great I'm just, I'm gonna miss him and Jamie next season, and honestly, I'm gonna miss him, too, like, like I've said, I hated him, and I hated him, I fucking despised him at the beginning of the show, and I've grown to love him, or, like, actually, I grew to tolerate him, then someone like him, and then I really do, I kind of love him now, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm, like, really there, like, love yet, but I really like him, and I just grown to love him and his character development has been so great and then just him and Jamie I'm I think I'm the most pissed about that I, I love them and like yeah because it's like Spolivia is probably not gonna be next season and I was hoping they would be so if Jordala was in it it would be the two of them but now I'm not really sure I don't even know if Jordala is gonna be in next season that's a bit concerning cause, like, I cannot lose Jordala, okay? I cannot use, lose Bolivia or Jordala. Like, I'm not mentally there yet. Like, I don't think I'll honestly ever mentally, mentally to be there, be, be, be there to lose them. Like, let's be real. But it's like, I think it's just the fact that, like, it's just, I don't know. I just, I don't think I've come to terms with the fact that they're even getting married. And I feel like the fact we're getting them married or, like, we're gonna see them get married, and then we might literally lose them forever. Um, two episodes after that. <laughs> it's not looking very good, but... It's like, I mean, here's the thing. I just... I can't even think about losing them, first of all, because I will literally have a mental breakdown like I did a couple weeks ago when I thought the show got was getting cancelled. Or not even getting cancelled, it's just, like, that they were leaving. Balled my eyes out of my room over losing Layla and Olivia. Not a fun night. But it's like... Because they're getting married next episode, I'm on such a high. <laughs> Even with, like, Spencer not getting drafted in the first round and me being stressed. Like, n- now that, like, I'm thinking about Jordala and just them at this very moment, like, I'm on a high. I, I'm, I really am so serious. I'm going to be a fucking mess next week. Like, I thought I was going to be messed during the finale, especially if we we're going to, like, lose the characters. Like, yeah, I'm going to be crying in that episode. But this one, I'm just going to be like losing my shit because like i cannot believe we actually made it like i cannot believe we're actually gonna see them get married like if you told me season three when i or yeah season three when i kind of like saw their chemistry and i was like hmm but specifically for the prom episode when they were dancing if you told me then that like season six episode 13 they would be getting married i would not fucking believe you i wouldn't like oh my god like was like in season three when I started kind of like seeing them and I was like oh okay I didn't think they were gonna happen because Jordan and Simone were married and I didn't know about the spinoff yet and like after the spinoff I was like okay they're for sure gonna break up but or after the backdoor pilot I was like they're for sure gonna break up but I still didn't know if Jordan and Layla were gonna get together because it was before the prom episode but like the prom episode like really was like okay they are getting together and now finding out that like that has been his end game and even at the way Asher was like that has been your end game like that has been it like and like how, how he wanted to dance with her in middle school but he like never did because he thought Lou was gonna make fun of him and he's like like oh my gosh first of all Asher dating her in high school though was kind of fucked up like I know he said that I thought you moved on, but maybe ask him. I mean, okay, Asher now would never do that. Like, he's ten times better, but still, like, that was weird. But, like, them talking about it is just, I'm so happy. Like, oh, like, she's always been it for him. Like, I don't care what anyone says. Like, it's always been them. Like, I, I know we didn't realize it for a while because, like, him and Simone were, like, so, like, like on it and, like, that was such a big, big deal. But it's, like... They're so perfect. And then, like, them dancing. Oh, my gosh. Like, again, I just... Apparently, I cannot drink water or drink anything when I watch this show or any show, to be honest. Because, like, I choked, like, at that... I forgot what I... When I choked. But I know I said I choked when, like, she walked in or some shit like that. 
but like, I choked when, again, when like, I they switched and they were dancing. I was like, oh my gosh, like what the fuck? It's like that was so perfect, and him wanting like to do that weird dance was so cute. I just, I just. I love seeing them get ready. I was worried that because this episode was the draft, even though I was so excited and I wanted to see, like, like a lot of the draft, I was worried we weren't going to get any of them. Which, like, like, yeah, I get it's the draft and, like, that's the most important thing. But I still wanted to see them kind of getting ready for the wedding. Kind of seeing the plan. And I got to see them practice dancing. And then them talking about, like, what they want to do. Because I didn't think about the fact that they never talked about that. I didn't consider it. It's like, yeah, we haven't really seen them talk about moving, like, where they're going to move, or if they're going to have kids, even though in, like, the time capsule episode, I think, season four, episode six, Layla did say she wanted kids eventually, like, have a daughter, and, like, they never talked about that, which I kind of was surprised by that, but then everything kind of happened fast, kind of, so, like, it makes sense, but I'm happy they sat down and talked after, like, like, Jordan talked to Asher and Spence, and we're like, oh, shit, like, I, we haven't discussed this, and I know, like, when they were doing the seat, or Layla was doing the seating plans, or seating chart, he tried to, and she was like, I need to focus on this, which is completely understandable, like, yes, you, you do gotta think about the rest of your life, why am I not making sense, you do gotta, you do need to think about the rest of your life, 100%, but, like, the, the wedding is tomorrow, so, like, let's figure that out first, for sure, but it's like, like, oh my gosh, it's like, actually seeing them talk about it, and her saying, like, yeah, I've looked at places, I have some ideas, which just makes me happy that she was actually looking, and, like, just show she was really, like, planning this, and then how she wants kids after, to, she wants to get settled, but she wants to have kids, and Jordan wants a dog, which is completely understandable, like, personally i don't want kids i don't want to get married i just want dogs like i just want pets mainly dogs like i completely understand that but just, like, seeing them talk about this it just makes it seem more real and like they're maid of honor and best man men talk like oh my gosh like because I, I was wondering who jordan's best man was gonna be and like hearing like at the beginning that they weren't planning on it but then Liv kind of just solidified that she was going to be the maid of honor, which she went 100% was going to be it. Like, let's be real. Like, come on now. But it's like, I was wondering what they were going to do for that because like, I thought it was going to be Spencer. Like, I kind of wanted it to be Spencer, but then I also get Asher because they've known each other longer. Like, even though Spencer's like his brother, he's known Jordan longer, you know? Or he's known Asher longer. So it makes sense. Even though I'm kind of sad because I wanted Liv and Spencer to be best man and maid of honor. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. Like, I'll get over it, honestly. I'm just, at this point, I'm just happy they're getting married. And I'm happy Liv is the maid of honor. Even though, obviously, we knew she was going to be the maid of honor. And, like, they're seen together. Like, her helping with her hair and them reminiscing about their moms. It just, them calling each other sister. Like, like they, this is, I've been waiting for this. Like, oh my gosh, they're like, my best girls. Like, I've been waiting for this moment. Like, they're going to be sisters. Like, actual sisters. It's like, oh my gosh. Like, I can't not believe, like, we're here. We made it. Like, I'm so hyped for next episode. I really am. Like, the promo had me screaming. Because, like, I knew we were going to have, like, some sort of sneak peek to the wedding. But I didn't think we were going to actually see all of that. And, like oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, we're actually here, and, like, I am still worried about Spencer, like, the draft, especially because I know drafts take multiple days, I'm not sure if, like, after round one, like, there is another day, or, like, we have more, and then the next day is another type of thing, I'm not sure, I'm really hoping that's the case, so he can make it to the wedding, like, obviously, he's in the wedding, we saw that, but it's, like, I hope everything gets figured out, and we're all good, I'm just so excited for next week. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I can't even think straight because I cannot believe we made it. Or next week, I will be sitting here and talk about Jordy Lowe's wedding. Like, the fact that we got to see her in a dress. Like, oh, she looks so pretty. It's like, I'm just so excited to see who's, like, at the wedding, first of all. And if 
it's just the maid of honor and best man like next to them or she has bridesmaids Cause, like patience obviously would be one and maybe jamie but other than that i don't know who will i'm just i'm just i'm so excited to see all of them together it's like oh, i'm so excited i don't know what else to say i don't i think i probably should just end the episode now because i don't know what else to say i'm literally gonna die because of jordan looking at me and also it literally is like 100 degrees in this damn car i'm like sweating my ass off right now so i feel like i should end it now but thank you so much for listening and i'll see you guys next week for episode 13 and dreadilla's wedding and i'm going to be insufferable i'm so sorry so see you then